So in today's Bed Wars news video, the end of hackers, the best use kit glitch, the end of season eight, every player must know this, huge giveaway, and more. Can we get 3,846 likes on this video? Go down below and smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe, it does help it a ton. Roblox has released a new update. This update will definitely improve Bed Wars. In many Roblox games, there are players that speak different languages. When that happens, you cannot understand them. This update is slowly rolling out. Many players are receiving the new Roblox translation update. Any other language in the chat, it will be translated to your language. This will make communicating a lot easier. Is this a good or bad update? Let me know down below in the comments. With the last update of Season 8, that's when the Halloween event ends. Guess what? The devs have extended the event. Instead of ending on the 3rd of November, it will now end on the 6th. That gives players an extra 3 more days. More time to buy the Hex Easy Kit skin. More time to beat Crips Coven. Completing all of your weekly missions gives you 15,000 candy. Since the event is extended, every player gets a new set of weekly missions, giving you more candy to spend in the shop. Quick heads up, the Krupp Barbarian kit skin and the Hex Yuzi, if you do not get them now, once the event ends, you can never get them ever again. Try the best you can. Players have found the craziest glitch with the Yuzi kit. When playing as Yuzi, you have four bars. Each bar equals one dash. Once you run out of dashes, it takes a while to get them all back, slowly refilling. Credits to LockX Gaming. When waiting for all of your dashes to recharge back, once the first one fills up, if you dash, it will fill up the bar even more. I have no idea how this works. The next time you play as a Yuzi kit, try this glitch. On my Discord server, we have an avatar contest. Create and submit the best autumn themed avatars. You can submit as many as you want. By the way, talk Top 1, 2, and 3 get prizes. My server is linked in the description. Go ahead and check it out. The Crips Coven mode is really difficult to beat. A lot of players kept struggling. The devs did secretly nerf the game mode. However, there was nothing in the patch notes. Unless you got Discord. On the Bed Wars Discord server, a few days back they pushed out a lot of changes to the game mode, mainly nerfing the Eldritch boss fight and fixing a ton of bugs. I won't go over all the changes, feel free to pause the video to read them. Even though the game mode is nerfed, you need a lot of trust from your teammates. I'm giving away two Hex Yuzi kit skins, here is how to enter. First you must like this video, you have to subscribe, turn that bell and set to all, watch the entire video to the end, then comment your Roblox username. Winner chosen in tomorrow's video, good luck. This right here is my friend Slays. This weekend he's doing a crazy Bed Wars kit giveaway stream. It will be a lot of fun. At the same time, I might also join. I will link his channel in the description. Show some love to the smaller creators. So Bed Wars just had the last update of season eight. Not much happened. First, the devs have activated triple XP. For the entire week, all XP earned will be tripled. Make sure to finish off your battle pass or get the level you want. These are the free kits of the week. Freya, Lucia, Sheep Herder. For the first time at player level 20, the Clea kit is free. Lucia and Clea are the best free kits of the week. Since the Halloween event is extended, every player has a new set of missions. The best part has to be the weekly missions. This is your last chance to earn some candy. Time for the balancing changes. The devs have buffed the drill kit. The drill always had 500 HP. The devs have increased it to 600. Archer K received a crazy buff. Most players never knew this. When playing as the Archer Kit, all projectiles do more damage. It was always 15% more. The devs have changed it to 16%. How was 1% more even a buff? The Baker Kit has been buffed. Speed Pies always costed 3 emeralds. They are now 2. Golden Apples always costed 7 emeralds. They are now 6. Now that's a really good Baker buff. When playing as the Infernal Shielder Kit, when the shield blocks damage, it will fill up this bar. If the shield blocks 150 damage, you receive the Leap Ability. Instead of 150 damage, it's now 100. Overall, the Leap Ability is really overpowered. 
The devs have nerfed the annoying Vulcan kit. The turret knockback has been nerfed. You barely get knocked back anymore. I really hate the Vulcan kit. I'm glad they nerfed it. There is a bug when you died in first person. You would see your name tag after respawning. The devs have fixed that. That is today's update on Roblox Bed Wars. By the way, next week is season 9. It is going to be a crazy season. Speaking of season 9, here are some season 9 leaks. First, we have a new castle and a windmill, most likely for a new lobby. Then we have some slimes leaked. These look like drawings. Maybe the devs are making a doodle kit. The next leak is called test. This could be a new kit or maybe just a test. For the best leak, we have a kit that is leaked. This kit looks like a cat. Interesting design. As the week continues, we will see a lot more leaks. With the Halloween event shop 2023, in order to get candy, you must complete missions. There was a mission called repair the enchantment table. When players did this, they never received any candy or progress on the mission. The devs did fix this bug. All players are compensated. A few days back, there's a mission called buy something in the armory tab. If you're living under a rock, we are in season eight, which means the game has forge. I mean, this is possible, just not that reliable. To complete this mission, you must play the OG Bed Wars game mode or win streak only one. Those game modes have the armory tab. This event shop is kind of a mess. A lot of players really wanted some lobby gadgets, dance emotes, or maybe win effects. Win effects are completely brand new. First one was added two months ago. So far, nothing has happened. Maybe in the season nine battle pass, there might be some win effects in there. This is the season three Frosty kit. When Bed Wars added a new skybox, it messed up the kit. One side of Frosty's hat has ice on it. The ice always matches the color of the sky. Because of the new skybox, this does not look like ice. Pretty funny bug, nothing that concerning. So Bed Wars has a huge hacking issue. Every four matches, you would see a hacker. These hackers are really powerful, to the point that you can't even win the game. And how is hacking possible? It is done through executors. The most famous one called Synapse X. A lot of Bedwars exploiters used it. A few days back, something crazy happened with Synapse. Roblox and Synapse have teamed together to combat exploiters. You can no longer use exploits on Synapse. Despite other executors, Synapse was the easiest to use. What's crazy is that Roblox and Synapse are both working together to take down exploiters. This will definitely save Bed Wars. This week's update is the last update of Season 8, arguably the most hated Bed Wars season. We did have some really nice updates. One of the best features has to be Creative Mode, completely changed the vision of Bed Wars. Players really hate the Forge and 150 HP. The question is, will those two things stay in Season 9? nine the forge might be removed i think the devs are keeping the 150 hp that's because throughout the entire season the devs kept buffing and nerfing kits to fit the 150 hp requirement there are so many content creators saying this one statement if the devs keep the forge in season nine they are quitting i hope they don't take their word for that one I do a ton of Roblox giveaways. If you guys want to help out, go to Roblox, please donate. Go to the gifts tab, type my username, and send a donation of any choice. Those that do donate receive a shout out in my next video. Shout out to these people on screen. Chris with 1000 Robux, thank you so much. I have subbed to your YouTube channel. One of the most popular Roblox games is called Blade Ball. It currently has over 200k players playing. Bed Wars only has one fourth of their players, especially during the night. This game still has a ton of players playing. Blade Ball has a feature called the AFK World. Just by sitting in this game, you unlock free stuff. Whenever it's nighttime or there's players at school, they just AFK Blade Ball. Very late at night, there's barely any people on Roblox. This will boost their player count during the night. At the same time, Roblox will keep recommending the game. So if Bed Wars did add that, the game would have a lot of players playing at all times, which means that the game will be recommended to a lot of new players. This could possibly bring back Bed Wars to its prime. There are a ton of Roblox games taking advantage of this. Not only us players get free stuff, the game will have a lot more players. Is this a good or bad idea? Let me know down below in the comments. Before I end this video, I want to address something really important. This weekend is daylight savings. I'm sure you guys know what that is. Basically, during the spring and autumn, we shift the clock back. Most countries around the entire world do have this in place. So with that being said, this Saturday, the clocks are shifting back by one hour. And this can be really confusing. If your country does not have daylight savings, 
Whatever time Bedwars does update, this will be one hour earlier. The first Bedwars update with that is the Season 9 update. Don't be confused if the update comes out one hour earlier. These are last video's giveaway winners. The first winner is Sarita. And the second winner is Among Us Drippy. Anyways guys, that is today's video. Drop a like and subscribe. You start coming out and buying Robux. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.